Well, we have to give the students uh, a sense of the risks that's involved with road traffic accidents and, and speeding on the roads. Um, young people have, have a tendency to sort of live for the moment and unfortunately speeding the roads is, is a very common thing, uh, particularly here in Donegal. And it's just to let them know they're at an age where they're coming into a stage now in life where they're learning to drive or they are driving and to let them know that you, if you decide to speed there could be serious consequences. But Sean didn't know that the great crack that he was hoping for would end in such a serious crash. I think it's very important to talk to the students here in, this, in the environment where you have 12, 1400 students together so that they can see exactly the roles that we have when we go to the scenes of road traffic collisions. And we try to make it as real as possible by telling them the parts we play in it and not holding back and letting them realise what happens as a result of mistakes that they make or perceptions that they have when they're out on the road. For me, when I get this type of call, I get the same feeling of dread, especially when I hear the words, single vehicle collision. It was heartbreaking. Listening to their stories about it. It was very scary. Parking scene, tremor on the very road. Well, I'm 30 years a paramedic and I've seen too many young people die in road traffic accidents. And statistics show that it's 17 to 24 year olds that are really the people that are the drivers that are doing this. So if we can save one life here today, I think it's, it's all well worth it, like trying to get the message through to them that, you know, respect the roads. Like so many times before, an image flashed in my head, images of broken bodies, carnage and death. I thought we couldn't be this unlucky. I was really sad because uh, the people, the emergency team were speaking from personal experiences. It wasn't just made up for on TV, it was their own, what they experienced. I think they made me more aware about being a passenger in a car to always have your seatbelt on and be more aware. It's not all about you in the road, you have to think about others. Good man, was it RTC at the Zebra? I hope that um, they, they will take the message with them, what they've seen, they've heard the emergency services talking about what we're dealing with uh, day in, day out. Uh, they've heard the medical professionals there and they've heard people that have been impacted by uh, road traffic collisions. And I hope that they take that message with them and they remember it for the rest of their life, basically. When we're on our way to one of these calls, it also gives us a chance to prepare ourselves mentally for what we have to face at the scene. The condition of the cases of these incidents can be anything from minor cuts and bruises to broken bones. I find it really shocking and heartbreaking with all the information. The young people coming to the show today, they are our future. They're the future of the county, they're the future of our town. We need to talk to these people to keep them alive through the dangerous years between 17 and 25 so they can use the roads safely. We are trying our very, very best to avoid any one of those 2,000 young people coming to harm in the roads, or God forbid, actually die in the roads. And if we can save a life just by telling them some stories, showing them some videos, playing some music, well then that's a day's work very, very well done. If they leave here and it's in their mind, at some time in the future they know when to get out of a vehicle, or when to ease up on the speed, or when to put on that seatbelt and make themselves and the other people in the vehicle safe. That's a fantastic day's work done. I think that the next time I get into a car and I'm really impacted in a way, I see the driver, that they have my life in their hands. And you know, it's up to me then whether if they're not being cautious or being careless, it's up to me then to get out of the car and say, no, I don't want to put my life in danger. Good afternoon, everybody. Just before my 19th birthday, I was like any one of you sitting here in front of me today. I just finished my A-levels, 
and start a course with a local college. A big ambition is to get the course successfully completed and get a place in university. And doing all those things you dream of doing once you finish school. Partying, traveling, but at the end of it all, getting that dream job. But all my dreams and all my ambitions changed in a split second in a car crash that changed my life forever. Personally, it hit me emotionally as it's very local to happen. It can happen anywhere at any time, it can happen to anyone. And I've had friends that have passed away in the past year over similar things. And meeting the parents and stuff like that just really hit me.